hist function hist and we need the variable iris scalar that sepal length will draw first we'll run that the default histogram is there now we will overlay it with the another histogram hist sepal width iris scalar sepal width is there and we'll run that but overlap is not there to make it overlapping we have to use option add is equal to true with this histogram will get overlapped we'll get the first histogram and then another histogram will be overlapped over it and this histogram is here uh, because uh, the limit used uh, for this uh, first histogram are from 4 to 8 and the second histogram this range is quite less we'll see the range summary iris scalar sepal width the sepal width max is 4.4 somewhat here and minimum is 2 therefore this is beyond the limits we have to adjust the limits of a histogram that x limb we need to adjust x limb is equal to c this starts from 2 to here that 8 is there therefore we will make it 2 to 8 x limit c 2 to 8 is a vector and we will run that second histogram and the second histogram is there and here you can see that width of these two are different and this different width it doesn't look good therefore to make the width equal we need to understand width of this break width of these beans and for that save this first histogram as object i will make it a a is equal to we will see that object a dollar sign and breaks and when we run that we will see that those two breaks have difference 0.5 Therefore, for this also, we have to make that difference 0.5. For that, this 2 to 4.4 means we will go for 4.5. Break is equal to uh, sequence we will get. Sequence of 2 minimum and 4.5 maximum. That difference should be by is equal to 0.5. And we will run this. The second histogram. Widths are equal. But now Y limit is beyond. Beyond the limit that 30. And for that we need to understand the counts. Because here counts are there. The max count of these two beans are beyond the limit Y limit. And for that we will see A dollar. And that counts is there. And max count is 31. Therefore for the first histogram we have to adjust the limit. Y limb is equal to C and 0 is the minimum and maximum here is 31. We have adjusted the limit, we will replot the histogram and the next histogram will overlay over it and still it is beyond 31 also is not 1 that is for A. We have to uh, find out for B and that will save the second histogram also as next one second histogram and B Keller count and that is 64 max count is 64 therefore this limit we have to make as 65 little on higher side we'll run that and we'll replot the next histogram over it and now limit is there uh, the third histogram will overlay now c is equal to this command will copy and for the breaks if we need to adjust the breaks we'll adjust for while this break argument i will remove and iris petal length will go first petal dot length and we'll run that third histogram over it third histogram is there uh, i find it quite difficult to distinguish between this and uh, limit is also not following we have to find out the limit for the third one also that c scalar break will see break starts from one for c and goes to seven quite a large distribution is there much standard deviation is higher here and therefore we'll change the limit from x limb 1 to 8 we will make it and we'll run again we'll go for the second histogram we'll go for the third histogram now third histogram is there the fourth histogram we will go uh, this time i will save it again as object and that it's petal width petal width and add is equal to true we'll keep that d is there and again the break are problem here breaks are different and we'll see the breaks for c also that 0.5 same breaks are there for d we need to understand about the breaks d scalar break and those are 0 0.2 quite small bro uh, are there and limit is also zero therefore here we'll make the limit zero and uh, here we'll add the breaks argument this breaks argument will copy and i will put that into d and that is zero to 2.7 to will make it as three zero and 
zero point five. Okay, this break is uh, good. We'll start replotting histograms again. Add the B histogram, add the C histogram, and add the D histogram. All the histograms are there. Now this overlap is not visible because colors are not there. We have to distinguish this using colors, and that I will add color here. Color is equal to, and we'll make that as red, and we'll see what happens. I have added the color in B. Let it A and the red color B. But when we add the color, this overlap again uh, becomes hidden, becomes masked. Therefore, transparency shall be there. To get transparency, we have to use RGB color. And for A also, I will give color call is equal to RGB. And we need four color. Therefore, we'll define the color vector first. Four colors for four one. That color vector is there. Uh, then RGB. That vector shall be there. Therefore, C. The first color is RGB. One zero 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 point three. The fourth figure is uh, transparency. And first figure, see, this is for red color. This is for blue color. This is uh, this is for green color. And third is for blue color RGB. And this value sh uh, shall be between zero and one. The first color is there. The next RGB color. I will copy this vector again, RGB, and there I will make this at zero. This will be bluer one. The third one I will add. The first two numbers will be zero. Third will be one. And for fourth one, I will make it little gray. Uh, all values at 0.5, 0.5, 0.5 equal and transparency 0.3. These four colors are there now. I will run this. Color vector is there. And this color will be the uh, for A. This color will be call is equal to color. And for indexing, we need the first value. Therefore, color square bracket, we put one there and we'll run Run that okay. First color is the first histogram is there with color. For second histogram again, we'll copy this to change the color to color the second color and we'll run that. Second histogram is there. You can see the overlap as the mixed colors. For the third one, also we'll copy this and just change the index, comma, color argument, change the index to three, and the fourth one run that overlap is visible. And the fourth one will make color is equal to four and will run the okay, overlap is visible. But you can see that uh, we have uh, adjusted the breaks to make all those uh, width of bars even. Uh, we have adjusted the colors, but uh, this looks more chaotic. To distinguish between these different colors, what those colors belongs to, we'll have the legend also. For legend, we have to add another command that is legend is equal to uh, that x position. I will go for the top right in inverted quote, top right x position that will be fill is equal to those four colors, that color and uh, uh, legend now. The text for this four legend is equal to C and those four names I require there. Therefore, names of iris one to four name for iris one to four column. I will run that and these names are there sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. I will copy this vector. I will put here and here those commas are not there comma comma and comma and through. Now that legend is ready. That box type, box type of legend is there, box is there. We need to remove the box to because I don't like that box. It's my own beam, I think, box type N and we'll replot the plots again. One, first histogram, second histogram, third histogram, fourth histogram and legend. This is foolproof histogram. But this overlap is not looking good because uh, their means and all those are there. If those are fairly separated from each other, if their mean and standard deviations are a little different, if uh, very little overlap is there, then only these four uh, uh, histograms will look good. To avoid this overlap now, we can separate these as different plots, as a multi, and for that we will uh, change the option par this parameter and in bracket we will write mf rho is equal to c uh, those four histograms are there we have to therefore two by two two rows and two columns will be there in the canvas i will run this now from this we have to remove the add is equal to true because all four histograms we require at separate plot comma add only this option i will remove add only and we run this one first histogram is there the uh, second histogram is there third histogram is there fourth histogram is there if you want to then you can combine two histograms this two you will have two plots just as we have seen in the introduction two plots were there 
Okay, I will show that uh, now also. We can combine, instead of these four, we will have uh, two plots in one and two plots in other. Uh, this is also one. Uh, using lattice, very easily we get this uh, four different histograms and we can compare those because for all those scales are equal, okay? that widths are equal. This scale starts from 2, this scale starts from 0, this scale starts from 1, this scale starts from 0, but widths are equal, therefore this can be compared easily. Their Y scales are also different here, but uh, we can adjust the scales and all those things. It's a little bit advanced, but we'll learn that later. How to advance, uh, how to uh, adjust uh, X scale and Y scale. This is all uh, about uh, plotting uh, histogram in uh, R programming and using main all those titles and all that can be given to make this plot uh, more informative. Uh, do practice, learn good visualization and if you are like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, share this video with your friends. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.